At one time or another, we've all dreamed of being an astronaut. But for the billions spent on space flight, only a few hundred people have ever got up there among the stars. Now the price of space travel is coming down. Famous for pushing boundaries everywhere, Sir Richard Branson today revealed the world's first commercial spaceship. Here's David Eccleston in Los Angeles. I hate people using the word me or my, but on this occasion I like to say welcome to my spaceship. I mean, is this just <laughs> the most awesome thing ever? Uh, it, it, it is so awesome that I honestly think that when I wake up tomorrow morning it's as someone's <laughs> going to say, oh, it was a dream. Richard Branson has never been afraid to dream. Building a global empire whilst always having fun. He's done it all. All has he. I mean, ever since uh, the moon landing, I was, whatever it was, 16, I thought, I'm going to go to space one day myself. And I waited and I waited and I waited. And, you know, NASA just, you know, weren't really interested in, you know, taking you or me to space. And, uh, and then a few years ago, I thought, well... Uh, screw that. Let's just uh, see if we, we, if we can't try to build our own spaceship. So we shouldn't be surprised he's pushing boundaries again, taking one giant leap for mankind, unveiling the very first commercial spaceship, Virgin Galactic SSS2 Enterprise. I wrote a book called Screw It, Let's Do It, and, you know, it's, it's just about, um, OK, saying, you know, we, we will take people to space one day and then uh, spending years trying to overcome the problems to make it a reality. It's taken seven years to design, build and test this ultra-modern spacecraft. So it's difficult to see on the camera, but I mean, you've got this giant carbon fibre uh, mothership, which um, the largest wingspan, carbon fibre wingspan in the world. That's what flies the spaceship, which is this beautiful <laughs> uh, craft under here. And then at 60,000 feet, the uh, six budding astronauts will be sitting there with the two qualified astronauts in the front. Uh, the spaceship will drop away for about five seconds. I suspect you'll go, oh, what something am I doing up here? And then the rocket fires, uh, and within eight seconds, you'll be going at two and a half thousand miles an hour into space. I'm sure if you want a facelift, I'm sure you would sort that out all in one, all in one rush. And then deadly silence. I mean, you're in space, absolute silence, and uh, you unbuckle and you look out of the windows. Uh, you float around, you look, you look, you marvel back at the Earth's atmosphere and, and, and the Earth itself, and um, you have the most incredible experience of your life. You might have to sell the family home, and maybe the grandmother, to get on the mothership. A price tag of $220,000. Now, that's crazy money, but already over 300 people have signed up to become an astronaut for a day. They'll join an illustrious group of people to travel into space. 100 kilometres above the Earth's surface. You must be selling a lot of televisions. Well, yeah, it's exciting stuff at the moment. At this stage, you know, we've just paid the deposit for the amazing flight and, you know, relying on a lot of business growth over the next little while in order to, to pay the rest of it and, you know, make history because this is really exciting stuff. Russell and Kogan is a long way from home. He sells bargain televisions in Australia and will become one of the first to take his seat on the mothership, Eve, named after Branson's mother. They're risking so much, they're pioneering, they're getting the world's best engineers. This is the pinnacle of technology and innovation. Virgin Galactic's maiden voyage is still two years away. It's hoped in time the hefty boarding pass will become more affordable. Until then, many of us can still only dream. You want to go up? <laughs> um, I don't have two hundred thousand dollars, but well, wow, what have you got? Let me have a look. Um, <laughs> well, I've got some notes, uh, a bit of business card. Uh, uh, business card. Okay, That's well. about it, actually. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it was a, it was a good idea. <laughs> now, if you were female, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before, actually. <laughs>